Welcome to Taiwan Headlines, news that matters to Taiwan's future. I'm Donovan Smith. The annual Dajia Mazu pilgrimage, the largest religious procession in Taiwan, will begin on April 9th and conclude on April 18th. The dates were set after Dajia Jinlan Temple Chairman Yen Qingbiao performed a ritual to seek instructions from the sea goddess Mazu. The temple said disease prevention measures similar to those introduced last year will be put in place again. The DPP has to suspend three of its lawmakers who defied the party last December by abstaining from a series of votes regarding the lifting of restrictions on imports of pork containing the controversial feed additive ractopamine. Each suspended or each was suspended from running for party leadership positions for a period of one year as a result of their breach of party discipline. What didn't make the English papers is that there was a fierce battle between DPP factions over the vote. One of the key issues relates to Yunlin legislator Liu, Liu Jiangguo, who is a likely candidate for Yunlin County Commissioner in 2022. If the DPP holds a primary and the date is set before the end of his suspension in March of next year, he'll be disqualified from running. DPP factional infighting now over the 2022 elections will be worth watching closely as they could be using gains in that election to position themselves for the inevitable battle over control of the party that will start in earnest in 2023 and 2024 as President Tsai prepares to leave office and presumably the party chair position. Legislator Su Zhenqing of the DPP said Friday he was relinquishing his membership in the party until he could clear his name in the Sogo bribery case. In a statement, he said, quote, to protect my beloved DPP from harm and to avoid causing trouble to the relevant government agencies, I am announcing my resignation from the party effective immediately until I am proven innocent. Sue is the nephew of former legislative speaker and vice presidential candidate Su Jiachen. Sue and other family members have been in conflict with the local DPP in Pingdong in the past, and there is considerable suspicion his real intent is to launch an independent run for county commissioner in 2022, though he has denied this was his intent. The unemployment rate dropped to 3.66% last month, falling for the sixth straight month. The rate was the lowest in 12 months, but remained at a four-year high for January, most likely due to lingering effects of the pandemic. The Ministry of Transportation and Communications has announced that freight businesses have promised the a total of 330,000 20-foot equivalent units capacity of the and of 46 vessels will prioritize the needs of local exporters and importers they will be needed to handle taiwan's booming exports the ministry of economic affairs stated that retail sales quote defied expectations in january to rise to 368 billion nt or 13 billion US dollars last month, a 3.6 month on month increase and up 3.6% year on year. They added, quote, we actually expected negative growth, but strong auto sales, online shopping, and demand for cold weather related items drove growth. In even better news, they said internal demand is on a steady upward trend in general. In 2020, the government issued 10,813 residents resident permits to and 1,576 settlement permits to purple people from Hong Kong, according to the National Immigration Agency. The figure is almost double that of 2019, when 5,858 resident permits and 1,474 permit settlement permits were issued. However, some have been rejected. The NIA has rejected applications by Hong Kong actor and film producer Charles Hyung and his adult son for residence in Taiwan. While the NIA did not cite the specific grounds on which the applications were rejected, the family is known to have expressed support publicly for the controversial national security law 
that China imposed in Hong Kong last year, as well as opposing the popular uh, protests in the city. And also, the son, Jackie Hong, is said to be a member of a youth organization under the Chinese Communist Party. At an annual meeting of the North Pacific Fisheries Commission, Japan, China, Taiwan, and five others agreed to set a cap cap on salary catches in 2021 at 333,750 tons, about 40% lower than in 2020. China announced plans to suspend imports of Taiwanese pineapples starting March 1st in response to what it said were various types of mealybugs found in several batches of fresh pineapples shipped from Taiwan in 2020. Reportedly, the pests were only discovered in 13 out of some 6,200 batches of pineapples. The standard international practice is to accept the batches after they've undergone fumigation, as Japan has done in similar situations. The ban comes at the beginning of harvest season, so there are suspicions of political motivations. While China takes over 90% of Taiwan's pineapple exports, That only accounts for about 10% of Taiwan's total production. Politicians are calling on the public to increase consumption of locally grown pineapple. All right, that's it for our show. Hit like and subscribe. And if you can, please become a patron of ours at patreon.com slash Taiwan Report. This has been brought to you by the Taiwan Report. For more content like this, become our patron at report.tw. Hey, I'm just a Taiwan girl.